Cambridge Dictionary American English defines an idiom as a group of words whose meaning considered as a unit is different from the meaning of each word considered separately. Also, the particular type or manner of expression used by a person or group, usually by singing. The same dictionary defines proverbs as a short statement usually known by many people for a long time that gives advice and expression some common truth. To summarize, I'm going to say that idioms are not easy to understand because it depends of culture. If in my culture I say, for example, wana yaya atowa ndabalia, it's in my language. It means that a sibling, but more than a sibling, it means that a kid from my mom does not die in a river, in a river. Uh, my dad uh, uh, may, uh, make this experience. Uh, for your information, one day there was war in my country. Uh, the rebels said that my father worked with the white people and they, they said to kill him. They went with him in a river. Because the chief of the rebel was from the village of my father, he talked in his language. He said that, And when my father listened, he's talking, he jumped to the river and swimming. If, if the rebel shoot to him, he did not die. It's an example of Egypt. However, but for uh, proverbs, I think that proverbs are universal. I'm going to give a proverb. If, if they say that it's an American proverb, but in my country they use the same proverb. Like, curiously killing the cat. The cat. That means that if you are too interested in things you should not be interested in, you could be in danger. This meaning is the same in my country. And it gives it give us wise to understand something in the world. Now let's move to my experience of watching television, to television and radio. Sincerely, I tried to listen or to watch movie in television, but it would be it was very difficult uh, difficult for me to find idioms and sometimes to find proverbs. I try again to listen to radio, especially NPR. I choose an example of a speech. Uh, let me refresh my memory. Uh, 